MailerLite versus Shopify email. Now, this video is going to be a quick comparison. I'm going to show you basically everything that you need to know about these two email marketing softwares, show you some of the pros, the cons, the pricing, and all of that good stuff. So if you are thinking about going with one of these email marketing softwares or potentially switching from one to the other, then keep watching as this is going to be the most valuable video you ever watch. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to assume right here is that most people watching this video, well, almost everybody, is already using Shopify to build their store. Now, if you are not, if you don't have an e-com brand, or if you don't use Shopify to build your store, then go with MailerLite. Like, there is really no point in buying Shopify just to have the email marketing autoresponder if you don't use Shopify anyway. So if you're an affiliate marketer, if you're an agency, basically, if you do anything that doesn't use Shopify, you absolutely want to go with MailerLite. Now, if you want to click off this video and just go and buy MailerLite, then I completely understand. However, I would recommend keep on watching because I'm going to dive into why this is so great. I'm going to talk about the pricing and show you is it really worth it for the price you pay. Anyway, for the people who have Shopify and are running Shopify, this is a little bit strange, right? Because these are two very different platforms. Shopify is primarily a website builder with email attached. With that being said, if you go with Shopify email, you have everything in one place. Whereas with MailerLite, it is primarily an email marketing software, which means it's better, it's, it's easier to use, they have more features, but if you go with MailerLite, you kind of have to use two apps, which can be a little bit annoying. So that is what I would say. Now the main thing does come down to the pricing, because even if you have a Shopify plan and you use Shopify, you still do have to pay for this at a certain point. Let me show you. So you can see, free to install, and you actually get your first 10,000 emails every month for free. So that is pretty nice right there. Your first 10,000 emails per month are free, but then for every 1,000 emails you send after that, you pay $1. So let's say you send out 50,000 emails, 50,000, whoops, whoopsie, 50,000 emails, and you pay $1 each time. That is going to be $50 you will pay for 50,000 emails. Would I say that is a good fair price? Yeah, to be honest, I would. I would say that that is not very, ex that's not particularly expensive. Like if you send out 50,000 emails, if you are half decent at marketing, you should definitely be earning way more <laughs> than $50. So that is what I would say about Shopify. But then we come over to MailerLite and this is where your opinion could really change. Because with MailerLite, this is a fantastic software, but it is so cheap for what it is. Look guys, there is hundreds of email marketing softwares that are on the market. In terms of a product that is actually still good to use and cheap, I would go as far as saying MailerLite is one of the best on the market. And at the same time, it is priced very, very differently to how Shopify is priced. Because with Shopify, you pay for each email you send almost. You pay for each 1,000 emails. Whereas with MailerLite, you actually pay, uh, depending on how many subscribers you have on your list, and then you get unlimited monthly emails. So let me show you where this can be handy. But first of all, let's discuss the free trial that you get with this. So the free trial, if you will, is you get 10,000 emails per month with Shopify and it's free to install. So if you want to try out Shopify email and you already have Shopify, like why not? It's completely free. Uh, but with MailerLite, you can see that if we come over here, you get two types of free trials. So the first one is a free trial where you can go up to 1,000 subscribers on this account and you can send 12,000 monthly emails. Now this account does not expire. As long as you stay under 1,000 subscribers, you send less than 12,000 monthly emails, you can keep this account for as long as you like and you get everything there with it. Drag and drop editor, email automation. So if you have a small list and you have under 1,000 subscribers, then you can try MailerLite out for free. Now they also have a second type of free trial where you can literally put as many subscribers on here as you want and you can try this out for 30 days for free, either any of these two accounts. So what I would say is why not try them both out? Try them both out and see which one you personally like better. I do have a preference, but I would say why not try them both out and see which one works best for you. With that being said though guys, MailerLite, because of how cheap it is, it can work out a lot cheaper in order to send your emails. If we go here, you can see that if we have 10,000 subscribers on the list, we are going to be paying $54 per month. Now, you might be wondering, do I go for growing business or advanced? 
honestly, when you're starting out, you just need growing business. Um, the advanced Facebook integration, custom HTML editor, you probably don't need this. Like, if you do, yeah, cool, go for advanced. For most people watching this, you probably only need growing business. As I was saying, $54 a month for unlimited monthly emails. If we compare this to Shopify, and you pay $54 a month, you would be able to send 64,000 emails. You pay for 54,000, and then you get 10,000 for free. So if you have 10,000 people on your list, that would mean that you can only send 6.4 emails a month. So re really, you could only send 6 emails a month to your list, and then after that, you're going to have to pay even more. So if you want to send 10 emails a month to your list, 15 emails a month to your list, maybe even an email every day, that's going to be so expensive. Either way, it comes down to how many emails are you going to send per month, to which one you will go for. Personally, if you give me the option, I would personally go for MailerLite because it's better, it's easier to use, and the only downside to using MailerLite is the fact that you don't have everything in one place and you have to use two different softwares. But at the same time, it stops you from worrying like, oh, I don't know if I can send this email because I don't want to increase my expenses. Like, I don't really like that and I would definitely just go with MailerLite. That is my opinion. MailerLite is the winner for me. And the reason for this is because it works out cheaper for most people. It's a better tool and you don't have to worry about how many emails you are sending. Now, that is MailerLite versus Shopify. If you learned something from this video or if you found it valuable in some way, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.